the Dimex Post, sport on BBC television remains up front, taking up 12%, almost 1,500 hours of both channels' airtime and an unidentifiable part of the licence fee. Sport on BBC television is still cheaper per hour than almost any other programme. ITV have always been more ambivalent about sport. They made major efforts to win some events. They were the first to secure the rights to the derby, but then were compelled to share it with the BBC. For a year or two, both BBC and ITV cameras were side by side on Epsom Downs to cover the leading classic, lasting less than three minutes. Later, ITV took up gymnastics, then dropped it. Went into golf, then ditched it moved into skating and let that go too. More recently, ITV have decided to concentrate on three sports, football, boxing, and athletics. For four years, they were the chief providers of football on television. The big match on Sunday afternoon. With Brian Moore as commentator, ITV had a good run, attracting sizable audiences of the age group advertisers love. But what is the state of play today? when there's a new competitor about, Sky Sport, part of B Sky B, with Rupert Murdoch as the principal shareholder. Let me pick out half a dozen sports and examine their relationships with television. First of all, the national sport, football. The decisive date here is Monday, May the 18th, 1992. On that day, Sky Sport won the live television rights to the newly formed Premier League. The negotiations involving the BBC, ITV and the satellite people with the Football Association were, to say the least, murky. And even today, fingers are still being pointed at some of those involved. The upshot was that ITV lost the big match, the BBC kept the FA Cup final and won back match of the day, and B Sky B had won a significant victory. McManaman. Free kick. To Liverpool. They want to take it quickly. Redknapp! Oh! Jamie Redknapp! Tim Flowers picks it out of the Blackburn net. Well, I said it doesn't matter what happens here, Martin. I think that proves it. It's what happens at Upton Park. And that roar from the Blackburn fan stills us. It's all over at Upton Park. And Blackburn, I feel sure they're champions. They are. Overnight, Sky Sports was up and running with the Premier League. The viewer wanted to see live football. From now on, he had to pay for it. But not everything is reserved for the satellite channel. Rugby Union, the new professional rugby union, is facing both ways. Club rugby, it was Sky Sports, and being told when it's time to kick off. The Five Nation Championship is with the BBC until 1997, and the World Cup is with ITV. And Australia now won't dare to come in from the side and bring that down. Back to Rob Andrew. Well, he struck it. It's over! Unbelievable! Rob Andrew! In the Southern Hemisphere, where the world champions come from, Rugby Union has embraced the world of Rupert Murdoch. At the same time, he has brought Rugby League. A winter game with rich traditions became a summer game after the signing of a sizable check. Racing has dealt with all the broadcasters. There is talk of a racing-only satellite channel, but right now the BBC of the Grand National, Royal Ascot and other races. Channel 4 have won the National Hunt Festival at Cheltenham and have kept all the classics. Here comes Tamori, the white cap on the outside. Cordovara back in third. Lamtara, the green colours flying the outside and presenting. They're inside the final furlong now. And it's Tamori, the white cap. Here comes Lamtara from the gods. Lamtara takes it. Lamtara, Tamori, and presenting the one two. Cricket has just come to the end of one of its most successful seasons. BBC and Sky Sports have given cricket more money and more airtime than ever before. And that situation will remain unchanged until 1998. England's overseas tours will continue to be shown on Sky Sports, something they have pioneered over the years, and test matches at home will continue to be shown on the BBC. Well, 
this another good shout. He's done it, Dominic Cork has a hat trick. Carl Hooper has gone over W first ball. What an effect this man, Dominic Cork, is having on this game of cricket. Next in this audit come the All England Championships at Wimbledon. The All England Club and the BBC have enjoyed a successful relationship over many years, going back to the first televised final before the war. The audience at home will continue to see the championships on BBC One and BBC Two, at least until 1999. That's it. The Formula One motor racing championships have become a major sporting attraction on Sunday afternoon. The British interest is considerable, the way it's televised has improved dramatically, and the BBC is committed to Formula One for just one more year. If Damon Hill could get past Michael Schumacher and win, it would decrease the gap from 11 points.